Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the channel. And I'm afraid it gets worse for Blizzard and for Overwatch. So we've got a bunch of more layoffs which are hitting the esports department in Blizzard. And there are some very notable people who have just literally been fired from Blizzard. It is so sad to see. Uh, also, we've got some, uh, well, there's some leaks I think we need to address. And there is the Lunar New Year and, <laughs> and there are skins in the shop. Oh dear. All right, let's begin this. Let's get stuck into it. So the first place we're going to start, it is here. So this news came as a bit of a bombshell. Now, Zoe obviously is, I mean, she is the face of Overwatch esports and she has been let go by Blizzard. Now I find this especially, I don't even know what the word is for this, but it's especially almost sinister when you look at this thing. So this was the announcement video which went out about a week ago today, for the new Overwatch Champion series. And Zoe was the host of this. You know, she's throughout this video. You can see she's hosting the video. Oh, but by the way, you're fired. We no longer want you at the company. It, it doesn't make any sense to me if they wanted to build a lasting brand. However, the problem is because a lot of this, well, all of the esports stuff is being um, farmed out to third parties. They're going to have all their own production. None of this is being done in-house at Blizzard. And so we're just seeing a lot of very good and very unique talent being let go. And it is super sad. So this is what Zoe says. After seven years of service, I've been laid off by Blizzard. It was a dream come true to work there. And I'm saddened that my, I'm saddened that my time was cut short. Yes, I was ready for this call with Champagne. Got to celebrate the good times and opportunities I had. What's next? I'm available. And uh, there she's also drinking out of an Overwatch uh, Champagne cup, which I think that was for the launch. That looks like the launch possibly <laughs> maybe uh, maybe they did it again but i know when overwatch launched they uh oh that might be for overwatch 2's launch actually i don't know but pretty cool bit of uh memorabilia and you can see people reacting to this like pocket he was the original desk host for the overwatch league saying he witnessed it live and i also witnessed that live it was so bad <laughs> I also witnessed Bobby Kotick taking a selfie with uh, DJ Khalid. Oh, dear. Um, yeah, and she, you know, it's just going to be like an outpouring of people just saying, like, look, you know, what the hell? You were the best. You know, you were great. I mean, she literally was Overwatch. And so he's, um, well, she was Overwatch League. But her, her, like, speech that she gave at the end of Overwatch, uh, the last Overwatch League finals, was incredible. I mean, very heartfelt. And that's the type of talent Um Blizzard are just thrown out the door. It's honestly a very, very weird, but it gets worse. So, so he's gone, but so is also Mr. X. Now, Mr. X, um, I, I think a lot of people know him as one of the, he was the Uber X uh, casting partnership, right? So you had Uber and you had Mr. X. X was the other part, the other side of that. Incredible caster in his own right. You can see he was times two um, nominated for esports caster of the year. Um, I, incredible right and i think he was a, actually a call of duty pro back in the day and he definitely managed a call of duty team because i've seen the clips of him but um he also worked at blizzard now he worked at blizzard in the esports department and i know for a fact that he had a very strong hand in actually trying to salvage overwatch esports for this year and beyond he was one of the people driving a lot of the stuff which has been announced for the overwatch champion series so again a bit weird that they would just sack this person even if he didn't do that you know and that was uh, he did, but imagine if the only thing he did was bring his cast into the table. Again, one of the iconic voices of the Overwatch League. And this is what he says. Unfortunately, today, along with a lot of other amazing esports folks, I've been let go from Blizzard. Casting Overwatch and working behind the scenes, planning some of the best years we've had with Overwatch esports and the upcoming year with the new Overwatch CS was a dream come true. Hopefully, I can still stay involved with the Overwatch scene in the future. But if anyone wants to chat product, production, talent work, email is in my bio. And again... You know, a massive outpouring of like, what the hell is going on? I can't believe this is outrageous, which, well, yeah. Next up, we've got Bailey. Now, I'm not sure um, if Bailey is there, has been let go or what. I don't know what's going on with Bailey. But again, you know, just to show you who Bailey was, you can see uh, there, she was the uh, Calling All Heroes lead and also the lead of the OWCS. And again, if I bring this video in, you know, you'll see Bailey as part of this there, Bailey. So again, it would be insane if you literally have just announced an eSport to then just, well, an eSports league and then just, or well, competition format, I guess, and then just get rid of everyone involved in it. It don't make any sense. It's crazy. Um, but again, I'm not sure if Bailey's gone. Bailey could just be sad. I don't know. Um, other people who have gone, though, are casters. So Jess, 
uh, not caster, sorry, observers. So Jess says, uh, in my, in case my last post wasn't very clear, this morning a bunch of my friends and peers I've worked with who were full time with Blizzard and brought you the OWL and CDL broadcast for the last few years were laid off. My entire team is gone. I am beyond heartbroken. They deserve better. Uh, Barry says, hi everyone. As of this morning, I've been laid off from Overwatch Esports. I'm so happy to have been here the last uh, one and a half, at uh, last year and a half. And even though I never got to complete my goals that I'd set after I accepted the job offer, I'm not going to lie and say it was a good year and a half though. Um, and then obviously the Owl Observers account just said it was fun while it's lasted, and they're all gone. Again, this is the this is the problem um, because there's no in-house production of esports at Blizzard anymore, so they're all just getting removed, and it is desperately sad. Um, I think what will probably happen is a lot of these people will be approached by probably by the ESL related companies that are running the Overwatch competitions going forward, especially the two um, events at the DreamHacks uh, this year, the live events. And we'll probably just offer, you know, Zoe a desk host position, uh, Mr. X a casting position. But these are all just going to be sort of contractor basis. They're no long-term positions, right? The money involved will be nowhere near the same level as it was having a full-term contract with Blizzard. Um, but again, I just find this really odd. If these people were involved in announcing your new esports direction for you to then get rid of them. And they were the people that, you know, were integral behind the scenes. It makes no sense. Again, this is it's very, it's just totally ruthless what's going on at Blizzard. But yeah, things just, well, they just get worse. Year of the Dragon is now live. So yeah, this is the basically the blog that just goes over what's now in the game. I think probably the, the big headline here is this. Prop Hunt is just basically back in the game. And I think this was one of the most played uh, custom modes, custom event modes that they've had. Uh, but it's back. And I think you can play uh, Rogue Kiriko snuck off to the Lijiang Night Market. And it will be up to Night Genji to figure out where she's hiding as a firework rocket. So it's on a different map, you know. So a bit of a, a different take on it. I think that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if they're bringing back the other map, which I think was Blizzard World, wasn't it? I'm not sure if that's back. I don't know. Um, you can also play Lunar New Year events. So obviously you've got to Capture the Flag. Uh, Blitz is back. Yeah. Or capture the five 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 brawls to capture enemy flags. Yeah, so you've got bo both blitz and capture the flag. You know, fine. I mean, these were events I played nearly ten. Well, not ten, I can't say I can't say ten years ago, can I? No, but like seven years ago. Yeah. Uh, anyway, moving on. Complete the challenges for new rewards. Year of the Dragon also brings new rewards and a bountiful amount of XP, a bonus XP to complete your season eight battle pass. Test your skills in prop on complete games in Overwatch two and earn up to fifty thousand bonus XP. Uh, which you know, I guess to be honest, this is like. If you do want to get fast levels or levels quicker um, or get more XP, I suppose, which just give you more levels, um, then, yeah, doing the event challenges, if they're easy and they don't take too much time, is generally the best way to do it. Um, uh, they also say, celebrate Year of the Dragon today. The Year of the Dragon seasonal event starts today. Players who log in now through February the 19th will earn a Year of the Dragon player icon for free. And starting next week, you'll be able to collect stylish Lunar New Year themed skins for all your heroes available in the game shop. Turtle Ship Legendary Diva, Dragonfire Legendary Bastion, the Thai Culture Inspired Mythic Swan Legendary Mercy. And we wish you good fortune. Yeah, so that event's back and it's a thing that's happening now. Next up is the Season 9 Supposed Leaked Patch Notes. Now, the reason that I want to cover this is people have been going like, well, Sty, why haven't you been talking about this? You know, why haven't you made a video? Why haven't you gone over this in detail? Um, now, I will say this. These leaks seem quite extensive. Um, there is a lot of information here. The reason why I'm not looking at it is, frankly, I'm just honestly beyond covering stupid leaks on Overwatch. I don't care. That, that's literally, <laughs> it's hard to say that. I do not care. Like, I am waiting to see what happens. Season 9 is pretty far away. I'm sure we'll get information off Blizzard, which will come probably in the next couple of weeks or whatever, where they'll talk about changes that are coming, and we can discuss them then, and then we can play them. What I will say is, I'll put a link to this in the video description below if you want to check it out, but it is... Um, it does look like that if, if this is true, there's wholesale changes coming to the game and it'll be a totally different game. And I think it's way, the changes are way too much if, again, they're real to sort of, how can you, how could you even comment on the way that would affect, that would affect the game? You know what I mean? So much stuff. But like I said, I just can't be bothered. I just, just give me the actual patch notes. I don't care about leaks uh, anymore. Mm. So welcome to my favorite place <laughs> on planet Earth. This is the Overwatch store. Uh, or the shop, and uh, so it's updated with Lunar New Year, 
Year of the Dragon. There are no Year of the Dragon skins in this, which is in complete insanity. Because if the event is just launched, surely that's where most people go, you know what, I'm going to check it out. So they might want to buy the new Mercy skin, the Bastion skins and things like that, the new skins. Yeah, no, Blizzard have got a plan first. And the plan is to sell you recolored skins. Or, it w which is kind of shocking, is this thing, this, not that, but the skin, um, this was part of a, um, like you had to buy a pair of special real world glasses, I think, to get this. It was part of the Gentle Monster collab. I mean, like I said, it's a Gentle Monster skin. But like, I think this was a pretty unique skin because obviously you would have had to have bought the glasses. I think they gave them out to content creators as well. I know a bunch of content creators did like branded stuff for Blizzard, probably some sort of brand deal, like a paid uh, activation as they call it in the industry. But like, yeah, you can just buy it now on the, sh the store. Um, but yeah, I mean, again, it's this thing of a bundle with a load of mad stuff. It's literally $26. It's literally a recolor of the... Um, it's the dance skin, isn't it? The ED, 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 the ED, why can I not remember what it's called? Electronic dance. I listen to this music all the time and I literally cannot remember what it was called. But it's basically a, a, a Toki skin, wasn't it? Or Toki, whatever. It's, it's a recolor. That's what I'm saying. It's a recolor of a skin uh, and they want mad money for it. Great job, Blizz. But then it gets even worse, doesn't it? Because look at this. There's a, there's a lovely bundle here. Well, I, I think I've seen this skin before. <laughs> I think I've seen this skin before. Oh, yeah, this is a recolor. <laughs> well, it's all right, though, because you're going to get two skins here. So you get the recolored um, Sigma skin, and then you'll get the recolored Anna Pirate skin. Again, I don't know why they've got pirate skins in the Year of the Dragon event. Like, it, it, it just They're just recycling anything. But I, honestly, I swear to God, guys, the reason why they do this is they know that if they just do a recolor of a skin, it'll make X amount of money, and they can bundle a few of them in with every update and I'm, I'm sure that's what happens i mean there's literally three here right well there's three different things you can buy there's two skins here uh there's the anna skin on its own and there's the recolored ed electronic dance skin <laughs> for uh diva and uh, i don't know what do they put do they go like this will be two million dollars two million dollars uh three million dollars uh, there we go let's just keep pumping recolors out because it's so easy to do and then like you know oh well you could buy this on its own as well if you like but well, i think you can buy these on their own from the hero gallery uh junk queen mob boss is back again this is another old skin from another i don't think it's from a seas i don't think it's from a battle pass i think no well it's obviously not from a battle pass that would be ludicrous if there was if they were now selling battle pass skins there might be Maybe they're going to do it. Maybe they have done that. I don't even know. I literally, oh dear, this has got black. I literally don't even care about the shopping Overwatch. It's so pants. But anyway, yeah, this is back. Get it for your $19. I mean, what does this shop even say? Like, oh, so it's trying to, oh, it, I see what it's doing. It's recommending the other pirate skins, but I've already got them because they're from Overwatch. And then it's asking me if I'd like to buy some of these, which are for the old Overwatch credits. Why don't I have this skin? I thought I would have had this skin. Anyway, the Overwatch store, again, it's just a recall of Nightmare. But I do find it quite funny that they haven't actually included any of the uh, <laughs> any of the, the Lunar New Year skins. I know their plan is to wait a few, you know, next week. Oh, it'll update. It'll be like, hey, there's more skins. Or they might do that thing that they did, I think, for one of the uh, seasons where they were like, hey, we, we hear you guys. So the skin's available earlier. I think it was a Mercy skin or something. I don't know. But anyway, guys, we'll leave it at that. I hope you enjoyed it. But yeah, Blizzard World, again, we're just in this massive giant sort of waiting room for Overwatch 2. And what will Season 9 look like? We've got massive leaks. Will they be true? Will they be accurate? What's going to happen with Season 9's competitive overhaul? There's a lot of things up in the air here. And uh, all of this is played against the backdrop of massive layoffs at Blizzard. The game in a... I don't want to say the game's in a bad state, but the, get, the, the people who make the game are in a bad state. There's bad morale. Where do they go from here? That's the problem. All right, guys. Thank you for listening and watching the video. I will, yeah, catch you a lot on the next one. See you soon.